morning everyone in today's class we are talk about different type of irrigation methods we all know about this basically we are divided the irrigation in two part in the previous class we are discussed about this there is two types of irrigation okay first one is the surface irrigation and second one is the sub surface irrigation according to that in this class we divided the irrigation method in two category basically broad two category first one is the surface irrigation and second one is the sub surface irrigation after that we divided in further for more classification of irrigation due to advancement in irrigation system sub surface method is divided into flooding furrow and contour irrigation means sub surface irrigation basically divided into first one is the wild flooding second one is the controlled flooding and the controlled flooding is subdivided into free flooding contour laterals broader strip flooding check flooding basin flooding and zigzag flooding after all these things we have to learn about and know about sprinkler and drip irrigation we go for next slide first one is the surface irrigation surface irrigation is the irrigation technique in which the water is applied and distributed over the soil surface by gravity by the action of gravity okay it is the most common form of irrigation method throughout the world surface irrigation method is further sub further divided into flooding method furrow method contour farming okay now we are talk about the flooding method in the flooding method it consists of opening a water channel in a plot or field so that water can flow freely in all directions that is water is flooded in the land and cover the surface of a land in a continuous sheet and in the flooding method we divided the entire area and flooding into number of parts first one is the uncontrolled wild flooding uncontrolled wild flooding in this method water is spread or flooded on the smooth flat land without much prairie preparation and without much control of the land in the form of ditches or the border okay now come to the next one is the uncontrolled blight flooding theek okay? hai means continue of the uncontrolled blight flooding uh, uncontrolled wild flooding wild flooding is easier earlier and primitive method of the application of water to the land the water is allowed to flow the natural slope of the land in this method water is forced to spread over the land during the season of the high stream flow okay now next one is the controlled flooding in the controlled flooding method irrigation water is applied by the spreading it over the land so that so be irrigated the proper control of the flow of water as well as the quantity of water applied all the method of control flooding require the prairie preparation of the land in the form of necessary ditches and the border the land is properly graded and agriculture field is divided into a small unit by levies controlled flooding divided into various method which will we are discussed in the first one slide like free flooding contour flooding broader flooding check flooding basin 
and basin flooding uh, basin flooding and zigzag matter these all are the part of control flooding method means surface irrigation method okay now first one is the pre flooding you can see in this diagram this method consists of dividing the entire land to be irrigated in two a small strip by the number of field channel known as the lateral means these are the laterals okay these are the laterals okay we are divide here you can see easily we are dividing the entire into into number of strips a small strips okay the laterals may be either at right angle to the sides means these are the sides and laterals means field channel field channel is right angle to that side and may be it may be right angle to the contour okay as shown in the figure okay when the laterals are aligned at right angle means in puts condition when the laterals are right angle to the side of the field irrigation is possible only to one side of the lateral okay you can see in this diagram irrigation only in one direction okay but in second condition when the laterals are aligned at right angle to the contour irrigation is possible on both side of the lateral okay irrigation both side of the lateral you can easily differentiate both the diagram there the irrigation is only one di direction and there the irrigation is both the direction the field channel receive water from the main supply channel we all know about this the discharge access water to the waste channel this method is used for the flat land and the steeper land okay now come to the next method control laterals method this is the special case of pre flooding okay in which the field channel or the laterals are aligned approximately along the contour lines okay you can see easily for this field contour lines are this and on the contour line approx contour channels draw there in this method irrigation is po uh, possible only one direction of the lateral clear okay now go to the next point that is broader strip flooding in the broader strip flooding you can easily see there in this method land or form is divided into series of strips okay you can see the first second third that is the series of strip 10 to 20 meter wide but should not be greater than 20 meter and length is vary from 100 to 300 meter and should not be greater than 300 meter long by the levees this method is suitable when the area is at the level with gentle slope this method is very suitable where the area is with the gentle slope you can see this is the entire area divided into number of strip okay this diagram and this diagram okay this this in this topic we discussed about what we are discussed about the controlled and controlled flooding in controlled flooding first one is the pre flooding second one is the contour line flooding and next one is the border strip flooding next next some methods we discuss in the next session thank you everyone